Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. As you might have noticed, I've just came back from my vacation, so I feel really energized, uh, ready to create more content for you, ready to share what I know about English with you and share how English is improving my life every single day. Because remember, English is your instrument that helps you achieve your goals. English is not your end goal. It's just something that empowers you to see the world, to explore the world, and to bring your expertise to people from different places across the world. And by the way, I was traveling. I went to Guatemala. I went to Honduras. I went to Panama. I went to Mexico and I went to Belize. And everywhere I came, I got DMs from you guys saying, oh, Marina, you're in my country. And this is the most exciting thing. And every time I get a DM like that, I thank my English language for that because my English is actually helping me connect with you guys. If you're watching from one of those countries, let me know in comments down below. I fell in love with every single country. I really liked Panama just because I didn't expect it to be so like, wow, all the high rise. It was, it was really beautiful. I've already mentioned some countries where I've been to. I've been to Honduras and you're wondering maybe why I didn't say at, why I didn't say in. So today we're going to talk about those prepositions. I'm going to share some rules that people use to determine which preposition to use. So if you're ready, let's start, let's do it. Today we're going to talk about the most common prepositions at, in and on. So let's do a quick quiz. He lives 13 Long Street and you have to select either in, on or at. I'm visiting my grandma on, in, at a hospital. I like traveling to, in, at a train. Now you're gonna get the right answers at the end of this video, but make sure you write your answers down so you can check yourself later. Now let's talk about some rules. The first rule is when we use at. At is used with a very exact place. Think small building, like something that is small, you would always use at. At the door, at the hospital, at school, at the university, at the table, at the door. So something specific would always be at. But when you're thinking about big things like, I don't know, Panama or Guatemala or St. Petersburg or London, you would never say at because at only applies to smaller things. And London, Panama, Guatemala, those huge geographical locations. So you can't be at London. You're in London. In London, yeah. But I'm at the desk. I am at home. I am at my studio. I am at the bus stop, etc. At this university. At the door. At school. We use on with streets and avenues. I live on Park Avenue. On North Avenue. I live on Green Street. So on is always with a street. But please remember there are always exceptions. Like if you're talking about university and you're talking about campus, you say I live on campus. On campus. Campus is this location where you have your dorms, you have your classes, you have your restaurants, cafeterias, etc. So on campus would be an exception, but normally on is only used with streets. Now, when we're talking about the street, there is another thing to remember. When we have a number, then we use at. I live at 13 Green Street. At 45 Dunstan Street. But when we don't have a number, like I'm asking you, where are you right now? And you're answering, I'm on Market Street. You don't give me a number and then use on. On Green Street. So at is used when we give the full address, street, number, etc. On is when we just mention the street. And when we talk about something bigger than the street, we use the preposition in. So for example, you have different parts of town. We are having lunch in Chinatown or we are having lunch in Knob Hill. This is like a district here in San Francisco with cities, as I've already mentioned. I live in London. I live in London. I live in New York. You live in New York. We have been in New York for two weeks. We are in Los Altos Hills. With states, I live in California. I live in California. With parts of countries, my friend spent vacation in the south of India. With countries, I used to live in Russia. In Russia. With continents, my sister is in Africa. I love being in Africa. So to sum things up, we use at, with specific locations, on with less specific locations like streets, and in with bigger locations like cities, towns, countries, parts of countries. 
If you're already feeling overwhelmed with what's going on and we haven't yet started the most interesting part of the video where I'm going to explain more things about prepositions, I would highly recommend a book called Grammar is All You Need. It is produced by my company called LinguaTrip by certified teachers. This is a handbook that covers all the necessary topics in English grammar and uh, it has a chapter on prepositions, it has a chapter on tenses, chapter on grammar rules, and it's not just rules. We all get bored by those boring textbooks. In this book, just like in all of my videos, we try to come up with different life hacks so you could understand everything better. And also, it's not just you reading the material. We have included a lot of exercises so you could practice things. Because with grammar, it's like if you just watch this video and you switch it off and you don't practice, it just goes away. Like, well, there is something in the back of your mind, but it really goes away. And because you're watching this video, first of all, you're getting 66% off uh, this workbook. And second, you get a free chapter on prepositions because I really want you to remember these prepositions that we learned. So if you follow a link below, you're going to be able to receive a free chapter and 66% off the Grammar is All You Need workbook. This workbook has 16 chapters on the most important topics of the English grammar done by my company, done by LinguaTrip, with love, with passion for you guys, with passion for English. Again, the link is in the description below, 66% off and free chapter on English prepositions, something that we cover in this video so you could practice, so you can print it out, put it on your desk and never ever forget what's the right way to use prepositions in English. The link is below. Now let's move a little further with our prepositions. I gave you some basic rules, but now we're gonna explore more examples. In is also used when we are talking about an enclosed space. Something that has a roof, something that has walls. In a car, in a box, in a building. I am waiting for you in my car. They're in a car. Can you please help me find a pen in this box? In a box. Don't put your wallet in a pocket. Now listen carefully right now. We're moving to on and uh, we use on with a bus, on a bus. And you might ask Marina, but why in a car, but on a bus? Wait a minute, I'm gonna explain. The other words that we use on with are words that represent surface. Like this table is a surface on a table. Your floor is a surface, on the floor. Wall behind me is also a surface, on the wall. We also use on when we talk about left and right. On the left, on the right, or vice versa, depending on <laughs> whatever you see. I think it's on the left for you, on the right for, for you. Next to or along the side of a river, for example. Cambridge is on the river Cam. Now, interesting part. Why in a car but on a bus? In is used with means of transportation where you can't stand up. Oh my God, English, you're so complicated. So you can't stand up in a car. So you say in a car. You can't stand up in a helicopter, but you can stand up on an airplane. So on an airplane, in a helicopter. On a bus, in a car. On the bus, in a car. In a taxi, because you can't stand up in a taxi. I know guys, this is why I recommend having something like a grammar book so you can refer to things or at least uh, have a script of this video in front of your eyes. On a ship, on a boat, on a plane, on a train, we use on with a means of transport where we can stand up. We can stand up on a plane. We can stand up on a bus. We can stand up on a boat. And also maybe another hint, uh, we use on with a means of transportation where there is no roof. On a horse, on a boat, boat doesn't have a roof, normally. You can have both, but on a boat. So normally you don't have a roof on top of you when you're on the upper deck. On a bike. You can't really stand up on a bike, but it doesn't have a roof, so it's on a bike. On your bike. On a boat. Another thing that can be super, super, super confusing for you guys. Sometimes you hear in a hospital and sometimes you hear at a hospital. Both of those are grammatically correct, but guess what? They have a different meaning. So when you're saying I'm in a hospital, that means you're a patient, you're actually receiving treatment. I don't remember the accident, I just remember waking up in a hospital. My uncle is in the hospital right now receiving treatment for his, I don't know, acne. I don't know if you go to the hospital for that, but he broke a leg, he's in a hospital, let's do that. I'm giving birth in a hospital. But you can also say I'm at the hospital, but that would mean 
that you're just doing something there, that you're not a patient. I am visiting my uncle at the hospital because you're at the hospital, not as a patient receiving treatment, you're a guest visiting your uncle. In college, my brother volunteered at a local hospital. Again, he wasn't a patient. This is why we use at the hospital. The same goes for school, museum, library, or any other institution. And we also use at with events. I'm at this Lady Gaga concert. Okay, guys, I hope it wasn't super confusing for you. Again, if you want to make sure you remember all the prepositions, make sure to follow the link below and download the free chapter of the grammar book. And if you feel like you're willing to invest in your education, just a little sum of money using 66% off the grammar book will be even cheaper for you because you're watching this video. And now let's check your test. I guess you already know everything, but let's do it anyways. He lives at 13 Lawn Street because we give the full address. We give the number and the street address. I'm visiting my grandma at the hospital. Why? Because I'm not a patient, she's a patient. My grandma is in the hospital receiving treatment and I'm visiting her at the hospital because I am not a patient. I like traveling on a train. You can also say I love traveling by train, but this is another topic for another video here because we remember that we can stand up on the train, we use on. I like to travel on a train. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The links are below. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit subscribe button. And if your friends are learning English, please share this video with them because I think it's super useful. I'm very humble. <laughs> Thank you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next videos. Bye bye.